Hi, I'm going to show you how to make homemade raspberry jam. And this is a great recipe because there are only four ingredients in it. And it is not made with refined sugar. It's made with date paste. So it's a healthy alternative to the store-bought jams. Also, I made a video on how to make homemade strawberry jam. So if you're interested in that, the link is in the description. The ingredients you'll need for this recipe are frozen raspberries or fresh raspberries, vanilla, date paste, and chia seeds. First, we're gonna make the date paste and you wanna just get one cup of pitted dates along with one cup of water and blend it up. Next, you're gonna place three cups of raspberries into a pot and I'm using frozen raspberries and you're gonna heat it over medium heat along with six tablespoons of date paste. Now, as far as the date paste, you can use more or less depending on your preference. Just remember that half of your day paste consists of water because it's diluted with water. And so it's gonna be about half as sweet as maple syrup. And here I'm using one tablespoon of water just to get the mixture to combine easier. So this is optional if you feel like you need that. You're gonna cook your raspberry mixture for about five minutes. And this is how it looks after about five minutes. And then you're going to mash it with a potato masher. Now you're gonna add two tablespoons of chia seeds and mix. Let your mixture simmer for two minutes. After two minutes, you're gonna take your pot off the heat and you're gonna add one teaspoon of vanilla. Let your mixture cool for a few minutes and then you're gonna pour it into a glass jar and you're gonna store it in the fridge overnight and it'll be ready to enjoy the next day. You can eat this raspberry jam with so many things. You can have it in a peanut butter jelly sandwich. You can have it with oatmeal, um, with pancakes. Here I'm having it with Eveliskiva, which is a Danish pancake. You can even have it plain with toast. Any way you have it, it'll be delicious. And I hope you enjoyed watching and happy plant eating.